Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know who I am, my name's Angie and I am a nail tech from Sydney, Australia. And in this video, we are doing a little organization of all my nail stuff and putting it in my room because if you don't know, Sydney is currently in a lockdown and I just want to have better access to my nail stuff, which I explained more in my vlog if you want to watch that video previously. But this is just more of an in-depth video of how I organize my stuff and how I'm going to utilize everything. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Be sure to like, subscribe and comment and let's get into it. front of my closet and we have these like massive boxes like okay. this box has all my nail stuff in it and we're gonna be putting this stuff into what is in there there is literally so much stuff I can't even comprehend and I gotta take the sticky tape off ah. and like wipe them down because they're like really sticky in some places so I think I'm gonna first start off with that because I forgot ah shit okay. I just punched myself in the nose this drawer is like all blue why I'm like wiping a lot of like the front is because that's where the tape was that I want to get off because obviously this cupboard thing is going to be in the wardrobe and so there's going to be a lot of like fabric dust fluff and I want to be able to utilize this straw like in the future like for when I do clients again and so I'm like scrubbing it but it's coming off like relatively easy-ish I've got a majority of it off on the first floor and now I'm just going to do top also, if you guys are curious to what I'm listening to at the moment, I am listening to a playlist on my Spotify, which you guys can find called Baddie Set Tunes. And I'll put a little screenshot. And basically, that's the music that I've made to play when I do clients. It's got a different mix of music from pop, house, mostly R&B and rap. You know, we got Doja, we got Nicki, we've got Sunshine, I'm loving your tie. What a thick and then the guy woman. It is all clean now and inside is all clean and I'm gonna go through each individual thing and just see like where I'm gonna put everything. So this is like mainly my nail art stuff but like half the things are like not in here then I have a random buffer and then this is like thank you cards from when I did or sizing guides and then thank you cards from when I did press-ons last year which I was thinking about continuing this year but I feel like it's just not really my thing but I'm still gonna keep them just in case then I have like powders this tub of glitter obviously like I don't take care of my glitters because this is like a bomb and when I opened it like all the glitter is like now on the floor for some reason like all my blue swatches have disappeared so there's like no more blue swatches at all these ones are fine and i'm gonna put all my swatches in like order of like lightest to darkest which is what i've done in those swatches but like where did half my blue swatches go i have no idea i have like files tips for when i did press-ons cuticle pushes bubble mailers then heaps of nail supplies too that I need to go through and sort out because I literally have no idea what is here. And then all my powders are like in this section here. And then I have more stuff in that box. And then I have more stuff in those bags that I showed you. So I literally have so much stuff everywhere. And you know what? I actually think I'm gonna start with the polishes because I really want to put them in alph not alphabetical. Was it like order of shade, which is what I have here? So I'm gonna use this as a guide. But literally, like I have one blue swatch over here, a couple of purple. Like I don't understand what happened. I guess I'm just gonna find all these swatches <laughs> and sort them out because I literally have no idea where half of these stuff went. I'm so confused. Oh my god! And then like I have this. I don't know what that is. 
I'm just gonna take out all the polishes. I'm gonna sort them out. I found all the missing blue ones. Literally so random. I don't know what happened. This is how I have labeled them. So obviously we have the actual swatching. Then I do the brand, I do the number of the thing and then the color name. So we're gonna start off with each like, color combo. Obviously red, orange, yellow. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, I think I might do red, orange and yellow together because there's not much of them like in the swatches. So I'm just gonna lay them out and then we're gonna put them in the drawers. I'm going through all of these and I'm just trying to find like all the numbers and I'm gonna put them in. This is gonna take ages, so yeah, speak through. and yellows now it's time to go on to the pink and nudes and then next is the blues purples greens and then the neutrals but yeah i'm gonna come back when it's all done because it's gonna literally take so long and i don't want this vlog just to be me just sorting out the nail polishes because we have a lot of more other things to sort out okay so these are all the color combos they're all in shade colored order and we're gonna put them in those two drawers there them in like this and i'll show you what it looks like when they're completely filled it's actually so satisfying and this method just works for me the best especially when i have clients sorry i'm gonna be bobbing up and down a lot usually i know okay this is like the reds orange yellows pinks the bottom one is mainly like blue purple nude neutrals usually i can just tell like okay if they want color 651 i'll just skim through i know that 651 is like orangey coral type of pink so i will just look more in the pink section and i'll pull it out and that's 651 there it's just a system that works for me and it's really good because i can keep these in the boxes which i like personally it depends on what your preference is if you like them on a nail rack if you prefer them out of the packaging that's completely up to you some brands also don't have them in packaging like this a little update on the drawer we are on one two three we are on the fifth drawer. There is still a lot to do, but we're about like halfway. These are more of the deeper ones, and this can fit like more of the liquids, things like that as well. So we are doing the nail art drawer, but I basically just want to show you guys where I'm up to. I had to let the camera charge and like export all my videos because I need to get more battery compacts and SD cards for you guys. But here's a little mini tour so far. We have all of the gel polishes in here. Here are my Madame Glam ones. I love that you can see the tops here and then i have foil gel top coat matte top coat something else and then the madame glam ones is base coat top coat here we've got more polishes and then i just have this one that i got like as a part of a package i have my thermal gel and then i have what is this matte top coat and then like these inks and then this is my favorite drawer this is my acrylic nail drawer goes all the way back there and it's pretty compact they can still move around but they'll still be in like colors as you can see there's red orange yellow pinks nudes purples blues greens customized glitters and then my core powders here and then here is like things that I would probably come and get mostly. So my acrylic brushes, nail files, sanding bands. We've got diamantes, charms, like little things in these little tubby thingies, decals, and then my drill bits here. So that's that drawer. And then this is my nail art drawer that I'm currently working on. But obviously if I was in a salon doing nails on clients, I'm not going to obviously have everything just in the one drawer. I would have things like around my table but because I'm storing everything into these this is just where everything needs to be for the moment and I gotta make it work 
but I thought I was going to be done with this so much earlier and I have a call with my friend that owns that another label and I'm just going to see what she's going to be up to that so I might give her a call and okay Jay-Z <laughs> But basically, I'm just gonna finish this off and we're gonna do a tour of it all. I just really wanted to talk as well. Like, so if you guys are from Sydney or if you aren't from Sydney, then, or if you've watched my other vlogs, or if you haven't, and if you haven't, you totally should. But basically, at the moment, Sydney is in a really massive lockdown, but it's just so unpredictable at the moment. So everything is in my room now, and I just wanna be able to practice, create content, obviously, better my skills for when after we're allowed to take clients i'm gonna come out with videos on what i wish i knew before becoming a nail tech because i feel like a lot of the things that i had done went wrong and there's a lot of things that i wish i changed or wish i would have done differently and i'm not gonna say that my business failed because i strongly believe that it didn't but it didn't work the way i expected it to and i'm just trying to do everything that i can in my power to actually make this a dream and make this my long-term career so the whole concept of me having this all here is so that i have easy access and it's really really great and I'm actually loving how they're turning out as well and it just makes me miss doing clients because obviously this is what I first had and the layout is quite similar to what I had in the salon basically like utilizing my time to plan things for post COVID which I feel like is so important if you are in a lockdown just like I am if you want to start something with yourself with your business anything at all 110% go for it don't listen to what any person has to say about you or the business you are starting or the career path you are starting and just know that with everything that you do there is no limit to education no matter what path you are if you're a cook if you're a fashion designer if you are a business owner you can never be over educated which is why I've invested so much money and so much practice into my craft I have no idea where that came from but this is something that I really want to do and I want to share it with you guys. And honestly, that is where I'm at with my career at the moment. Baddie sets at the moment with adapting to lockdown. And I could have taken a complete different approach to it like I did last year. And I feel like because my mind was in such a bad place last year, it just really, really damaged how I viewed owning a business, being a boss, how I use my productivity, how I utilize my time in lockdown. But my friend called me. Taylor, say hi. She's the owner of Zlatan or the label. I already told you guys that, but we are on a little bus date together. Say hi to my vlog. Oh my god, hello vlog! We're, We're both filming. <laughs> we love that. That's so cute. So we are having our little boss business oh, date, as cool. I mentioned. I'm gonna fill her in on what the hell I'm doing. She's probably wondering why I'm sitting in front of my freaking wardrobe. The reason why I came up with the boss business dates, which I feel like is really, really important, is because we obviously can't see each other, her and I. Same with my other friends that I do this with, and with owning a business, and it can get really lonely. Would you agree? Yeah. It can get. <laughs> She's nodding, everyone. <laughs> like sometimes, you know, like procrastination, getting distracted, just distractions, all of that type of stuff. You know, there's going to be days where you want to run your business, but then it actually like you don't end up doing the things that you actually want to do. So with these boss business dates, you guys can do it with your friends. You can do it as like study dates, whatever you want to call it. I feel like it's just holding each other accountable, making sure that like, okay, what are you doing at the moment? What are your processes? Do you need my help? If you catch them like on Instagram, TikTok, whatever, just be like, hey, hello, get off. Like we are in the middle of something important. I'm gonna finish these drawers. The other box has a lot of my personal stuff, which I'm gonna leave in there, but then it also has a massive bottle of acetone. I'm gonna be filling up these things of acetone so that I have them on deck ready to go when I need it. And I'm also gonna fill up this thing of monomer, but the rest of it's quite boring. So I'll show you like a full tour. Obviously we've done these four, but yeah, that's my little TED talk for this vlog. Okay guys, we have finally finished. I am so, so, so I'm gonna show Reed and you guys the things. So, as I showed you before, we have the polishes. Wow. 
that's also the polishes we have the acrylic powders they're color coordinated as well then we have our nail art drawer which includes half nail art and then things that I actually need including primer dap and dish acrylic brush cuticle pusher cuticle nipper and then some like brushes nail art brushes here KDS glue nail files I know there's a lot here obviously I'm not gonna use them all on myself but they're just here and then sanding bands and then here we have these colored caviar we have glitter here these little makeup applicators for when i put chrome on these smile line things a little palette for when i use gel polish and then all these decals here and then i have silver flakes gold flakes rose gold flakes and then i have glitter and these little sequining things in these bags back here in this drawer here is just full of nail tips we've got forms we've got c curve square nail tips we've got press on nail tips we have the display tips we have the normal nail tips clear tips extra long tips down here and then white what are these called like the neutral ones and then in this drawer is the liquid drawer so we have removing hand soaking bowls acetone we have powder monomer that i would be using so i just put my young nails one in here another powder thing which is basically like clear but it has the most slightest like pinkish tinge more monomer here acetone 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 and then another cover peach powder and then a funnel so i can dispute like this into these little pump bottles as well and if i need to get one i can just get one out like this and then put it back the second last drawer is just electronics. So I have my lamp, my desk fan, my box for my drill, primer, and then my drill here, and then just some cords. And lastly, this one is just like if I was to send out any packages, things like that. So I have extra nail files that I just put here and extra cuticle things. We have empty nail tip boxes, fabric to take photos on, bubble mailers, thank you cards for when I did press-ons, and then these little bags that I'm probably gonna most likely use in the future so we have all this stuff and that is everything I'm actually so happy that that is finished I've done little sneak peeks on my story if you guys haven't seen if you guys don't follow me you absolutely should my Instagram is at baddie sets same with my TikTok. I post a lot of things on there that you might not see on YouTube and vice versa as well. this alone has taken me three hours to do maybe four so we love that we're gonna go get to vacuuming and hello it is now time to vacuum room. We love that. Hello, you guys. So it's actually like about four five six days i don't know i don't even remember when we did that all let's just say it's a week later and i've actually added a couple of things into the closet to make it look sorry i'm closing the door to make it look more presentable more easier to look through so this is the closet and this is what it looks like. It's a little bit messier <laughs> since obviously the time that we did it. But what I've added into the shelving is these labels. So it's easier. And initially when I was doing these labels, I was actually going to put the labels in front of here or in the corner over here. But I really just didn't want it to show like on the actual drawer itself because I feel like it's such a nice clean cupboard and I didn't want to ruin it by some labels. So I... I put them in this little section here which I really really love because it's open and you grab here anyways and if you're looking from like where my eyes are which are like this <laughs> this is what I'm doing to show you so if you're looking like from my view you can still kind of see the labels as you look down and yeah so obviously up here is my D&D and Madame Glam polishes my D&D polishes and alcohol inks and then acrylic powder nail art files plus tools nail art glitter foils and caviar nail tips and forms which that's literally a whole thing for itself. Acrylic monomer bulk powders. Sorry, acetone monomer bulk powders. Electronics dust collect and drill. 
and then packaging plus other stuff as well. So this is the system that I have in my room currently and I'm probably going to leave it like that for well until we're able to move out of this room like when I'm able to move out and do nails full time obviously. Yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this vlog that is my organizing of my nail supplies for my room while I'm in the Sydney lockdown. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see next. Give this video a like, subscribe, turn your notification bell on and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!